and we return. Ha ha. Um, Bao, uh, you have a, a, a slight warmness upon your back. Um, and I think if you're looking up at the tree, you can see the shapes of, um, of an automobile, um, up in, up in the tree, uh, with the tree all kind of grown through it in different ways. An automobile? Yeah, like a car. Okay. So this is like, I can see this because of where I've moved. Yeah, because you got closer to the tree. I wonder if I know what a car is. Have I ever seen a car before? Hmm. How likely am I to have seen a car before? How common is that? I mean, not heaps common. Um, All right. Can I don't it's, remember. It's perfectly understandable much. that you might not have seen one before. So. Can I can I attempt to consult my memory? Uh, yeah. Do you want to do you want to like do you want to see what you know about about cars? Yeah, I'd like to see what I know about cars before I try to tell people what I can see, mm -hmm. <laughs> because otherwise I might just be like, there is a large animal. Uh, or whatever. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. So, oh God, I'm not very smart though. So this, this, I, this probably is not going to go greatly, but we'll see what happens. Okay. Uh, intelligence. Oh, all right. Okay. All right. Um, on a seven to nine for spouting law, you, the GM will tell you something interesting and potentially useful. Um, so, um, let me see if I can find. Oh, why do you like this? Um, okay, there we go. Cool. Um, uh, yeah, this is a this is a very expensive and luxury car. It's big, boxy. You know that uh, you know that those, the the covers of uh, the the covers of the of the seats, although they're kind of wrecked, they're made out of real skin, from something. Um, uh so you, you know that you can have more clothes and like yeah you know that, and you know that like the metals here are like pure metals they're not like mm -hmm. you know and do i know what this does do i know that it moves people from one place to another i think so. you have a vague idea of that close. yeah okay so yeah i think i turn around because i don't think i've really taken notice of the warm floaty something so i probably turn around and hopefully then i see them but i turn around and say to the others um and point up into the tree and i say um it's a car a really fancy car if you turn if you sorry say again for moving people yeah and if you turn around to um uh to like talk to them uh you will be you will like spot out of the corner of your eye these big lamps um and this great big body curled kind of towards you out of the tree that is very very similar to the thing that you saw in the tree except bent in an almost animal or um or reptilian kind of curve up into the tree and not uh and like not perfectly arranged in the same way um it has it uh it has another set of it has like another set of wheels be, uh, behind its front wheels it has um it, it has like two sets of like roofs kind of half overlapped each other and it's kind of snaked down out of the tree and the the big headlights blink as it cocks its engine bay i point at that and say to the others that one's like a car but i don't think it i don't think they usually move like that and it makes a gentle rumbling somewhere between a cat and uh, uh and a finely tuned machine i just want to say that this is super amazing yeah i love it <laughs> i think i'm just staring at it in like 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 with a big grin like i'm i'm, I'm in awe of whatever this is i'm just sort of speechless if anyone know, wants to know the specific oh, no, like... car that i'm referencing it's a uh it's a rolls royce it's a 1927 rolls royce phantom of course it is 
Um, and yeah, it, 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 this, this thing that is behind you slowly lowers one of its front, uh, uh, front wheels onto the ground and just kind of like drags the leaf litter around sort of idly. Yeah, I'll, I'll slowly turn around to this other one. Do I see the same thing? I mean, the, there are, the, like, Bao has gone ahead to the tree. So, you, so like, you've seen this thing, and, like, until the lights came on behind Bao, you couldn't really see its form. You'd have to get closer if you wanted to to kind of get a thing. Okay. Uh, um, the, you, like, Bao is, you know, um, uh, is uh, a, f a few dozen meters ahead. Okay, I'll slowly approach, like, very hands out, trying to appear non-threatening, but also obviously very cautious and not entirely sure that we're not going to be attacked. Yeah, it, um, I think it doesn't seem to, I, I, I think at the moment it's very much focused on bow, and so you can get quite close um without it if you get to within like a meter or two of it it's gonna be like whoa 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 but um but if you keep a reasonable distance it kind of yeah is 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 intrigued by bow it seems to be if if it if it has thoughts or emotions uh, yeah it's I'm just gonna the, the, the best go description off. i have is like a is like somewhere between uh like a like a cuba uh, like a cubist google deep dream of a 1927 uh rolls royce phantom that's what it is <laughs> um but yeah you going up to it uh fetch yeah i'm just gonna wander up to it real casual like <laughs> yeah um <laughs> just look at it and be like hello are you one of those things from long 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 ago yeah cool i like lean over to sketch and i say um i say uh the voices around here say that it can swap faces like us can the rest oh. of us do that i don't know well unless you've come up close i'm not like trying to hide it but i'm like saying it quietly mostly so that i don't upset the thing um so if you're like right near us, you would, but if you were further back, probably not. Yeah. So it's not really one of those really old things that people made. It kind of goes from a purr, purr to a growl for a moment. I shrug and I say, I don't know. Are we not really those other people? And I'm still wearing Sparrow's face at this point. I haven't met Sparrow, so I'm just like, yep, yeah, you're someone. And does it give you Sparrow's voice as well, or is it just you look like Sparrow? Yeah, Sparrow's it's Sparrow's voice. voice as well. Oh, Fallen's just going to be like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, what's happening? I don't like it. Yep. I think I'm more uncomfortable with what's happening with my own people than what's going on over here. This is a cool trickery. I like it. Yeah, me too. Barry kind yeah. of just gives the, the car creature an impressed nod. Um, yeah, and it, and it like, yeah, it kind of like, um, like pulls itself up slightly and like, you know, and, and kind of gives a, a, a little rumble. Um, uh, and I'm curious, who's... Who's physically largest here, do we think? Not me. No, about I'm very person. tall. Yeah. Mm. I think mm -hmm. then I think then it might be yeah. Probably in, in, in that case, yeah, it um it like it draws itself up and you know, and like um and uh and like yeah, rumbles a little. Um and then yeah, um like uh noticing air as the like as as the like largest thing here and also potentially the silverest um mm -hmm. uh, yeah. um uh like it's like oh what's this right like has been distracted from from bow and is like oh there's another thing here that is like um that has a funny look about it 
Hmm. And it's and, and yeah, and hair, she, yeah, quick and, silver eyes. Yeah, and it like leans in um and like arches its way in like um like a, a almost like a snake hanging from the tree. Um I've Ooh. got that like mental image of the way that the what's the snake in Jungle Book called? The, yeah, the way that it can be like Ooh. Ka. Um yeah, Khan. Yeah. 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 Um uh, and it does that and like uh, and you get that thing of like the radiator ends up it ends up like a foot from your face. Um, and you can you can feel the like rumbling of heat kind of just emanating off of the uh, off of the um, the engine bay. And at this point, you can see quite a uh, you can see that the radiator is made of uh, it has like a weird kind of like texture to it. Like the shiny bits are all shiny, but the radiator um, it looks uh, up close looks almost like it's made out of feather or something. Hmm. Mm. and yeah it's 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 doing a lot of like you can hear the the sound of the engine kind of like sucking in deep breaths of air like almost as if it's catching your scent mm. okay so I'd, I'd like to um stay where i'm standing so it's right right in front of me mm, yeah it's like right up in your right. face Right, so I'll stay still, but I'll lean in um, with just a friendly, inquisitive look and look at the um, its face, I guess, <laughs> the, 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 gr the grill. Um, I'd like to um, take a deep breath and just smell um, what, what I can smell and just have a look around. You mentioned that it was an interesting texture, mm, so I'd like mm -hmm. to find out and um, use my senses to find out more sounds like you're about... descend... sounds like you're descending realities to me yeah yeah good job <laughs> um so that's rolling plus wisdom so you can click the if on your sheet you should better click the letters w-i-s and it should roll wisdom for you do, do, do. okay hey very nice so that Thank means you. that you can ask three questions from the descend realities list what happened okay. here recently? What is about to happen? What should I be on the lookout for? What here is useful or valuable to me? Who's really in control here? Or what here is not as what it appears to be? All right. Everything. My... Yeah, I want to know it all. Um, also, I'm just thinking about um, arcane learning. That's yeah. one of my, one so of my moves. Do, what does, does that, that do? apply here? Can you, can you, so you read it for me? Yes, you are a font of esoteric knowledge. When you spout law or discern realities about something magical or otherwise arcane, on a 10 plus, the GM will also tell you a little known secret about the subject. All right, so ask me your three questions and then I'll also give you a little known secret. Nice. Um, I, uh, are, are you an ally? Are, are, are we friendly? So it's, it's specifically from the discern realities list? Um, so oh, okay. it's, um, here, I'll paste them into chat for you. There you go. Oh, but there, just, there are ones you might be able to ask the same sort of thing. Yeah, you, just you can use you one can... of these, but you can specify, like you yeah. could say, um, I'm like, like we know what, that you're, what you're, you're, what here is not what it appears to be could be a similar kind of thing. Yeah, it's, it's definitely, um, like I'm go I'm taking the context I into account, right? I'm not going to be like, start talking about something completely different. Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So it's in this context these questions are asked. Okay, so I can ask three of these. Yeah. Okay, so um, who's who's really in control here? This creature is definitely more in control of this situation than than the group of you. Uh -huh. And uh, what here is not what it appears to be? Um, <laughs> I think that I think the interesting answer to this is actually that it's trying to work that out. Um, I think you're all aware of the fact that, uh, like, I think you're aware of the fact that it's not a car. Um, but yeah, something uh, looking like a car. Yeah. And I think the thing that is important here as an answer is that it doesn't is that um its intentions are yet to be decided. Um right. because it's it, it's it doesn't feel threatened. 
but it doesn't know whether or not these are like what to do with these things that it has found so for it, so it, it's almost like what well, here's not what it appears to be the relationship between you and and this thing is not really mm -hmm. established it's still in the like working itself out phases okay um i think the last question then needs to be what should i be on the lookout for i think you notice um you like look past it and up into the tr uh, up into the tree and you see um uh a leather seat uh with an axle coming out of it and then like half emerging from the seat is a like a rotted skeleton just kind of hanging loosely as if it uh, um as if the the seat were like a part of its body at some point um mm -hmm. and then further down you see like uh you see um uh, a beautifully shiny wheel with like you know shiny black rubber uh, um on the things and then uh, um and then like um a contorted semi skull like face kind of like emerging from the uh from the hubcap as like like hand in carbonite right like the, um as if it were uh, um and it's slow like this face is not s static it's slowly emerging in some kind of scream from the um uh, made of silver from the hubcap mm, like a hu a human mm. void type face mm -hmm. yeah and yeah, and and you you can see that this thing riddles its way through the tree. It's it's not it's much much larger than the vehicle that you can see that is that is here. So just to clarify, sorry, is is this thing that we are encountering attached to the rest of the vehicle in the tree? No, no. no. There's like a it, car. There's a car in the like, so there's the, the trunk of the tree and the, the, the car that has kind of grown up under and through the car. And then separate to that, wound throughout the boughs of the tree is this other entity that yeah. has kind of, I, right. I think we can reasonably say taken that form. Yeah. yeah. And the face though is in the car the the yeah so the the, the skull the is yeah like imagine han in carbonite but his face is coming yeah. out of the hubcap and it's slowly just like yeah. but of, of the car not of the creature no no of the creature oh of the creature yeah, yeah. and similarly the similarly oh. th this is part of this network of car like parts just throughout the tree um okay. i'm just trying to yeah i'm just trying to get a good visual of like that there are two objects well there is three mm -hmm. objects three car creature yeah and the creature the creature is an is the creature is a network of car imitation just throughout the tree the section that it's that it's presenting to you is definitely the most car like in in that like it's not the rest of the parts through the tree are just parts of car kind of like merged together um, I think I lean close to Sketch because I, I think it sounds like Sketch and I are still sort of standing next to each other and that um, Air and uh, Fallen are like a little little further off where the, the creature is now kind of looking, mm. like has come down next to them. Is that right? So Air is like, so... Um, uh, or has Air come up where... It's, it's turned to Air away from, um, yeah, from the away others. from us. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I think, yeah, I lean toward a sketch um, and I kind of look up at the tree. Um, so, oh, sorry, have we seen the, the skull or is that something that only Air um, can see? I Only so far has been noticed by, um, by Air. The other, thing that I, uh, uh, the other thing that I think um, Air n uh, knows as far as this sort of thing is um, if you had something uh, that would give you any kind of true sight a you would definitely would definitely work on this like it's definitely glamorous as in um it's this is uh um it might be physically changing its shape but it's not physically changing its nature um so you would you would, if you had like um is it what's the name of the stone that has a hole in it is the name for it uh 
a sin- if you had a, yeah. yeah, if you had a seeing stone or anything like that, you'd be able to under you'd know you'd you'd be able to see this thing for what it truly is. Um, but it but for all intents and purposes, it has it, it is metal and all of these sorts of things. Um, it just is those things falsely. Mm. Okay, so just quickly, um, apparently the actual headlights would not have been fire-based, but are these particular headlights at all fire-based? Um, I don't, I mean, they're, they're heat-based. Um, they're, yeah, they wouldn't have flame, but they would be like embers. So you, you couldn't, I, I, cause, cause I, I know the thing you, you're thinking of, which yeah, is like burning I, I can't lower a flame it. Yeah, no, no, it's, it's, it's not flame, it's embers is the, is the effective result. But yeah, um, er, you're, you're the one who's noticed the fact that it like winds through the trees in the way that it does and, and all of this, like. That the, you've noticed the not pretty part of it that it's like the part that it's not presenting to uh, to you formally, um, yes. and you also know this, um, but it's still kind of yeah. I think it is taken in this breath, right, uh, uh, and like you know got your scent and is like purring happily about this almost. Yeah, yeah. Um, it almost um, it it almost chugs right. It, it does this like right like. Yeah. You don't know um, if, it's, if it's a laugh or a chugging, like, for air or, yeah. Okay. Can can I do something with um, my words of the unspeaking spell here? Yours and... for you is specifically with stone. Stone. So, yeah. yeah. Um, it's not stone, but um, you could, like, search around and, like, find some of the stones in amongst the tree litter here if you wanted to yeah. try and find them and talk to them. Um, yeah, yes, I might do that. I might, I might just have a look around and, and uh, see if I can find any stones that have, you know, bad witness to this car form thing. Yeah. So I think you, you turn to like, um, to go and, uh, to go and like, see if there's anything around that might know of this. Um, and as soon as you turn away from it, it snorts like a horse, you know, um, and yeah, and starts to recoil back up, and the others see it recoil back up into the tree, or, or at least begin to. Um, and yeah, you can see that the, that like in amongst the like roots of these large trees, there are there are some stones. But it'll take you a hot minute to like um, to go and like. So yeah, you can you make your way over, um, and you place your hands upon the, the stone. And yeah, um, what is it? What what does it look like when you commune with stones? Um, I, I need to leave the stone where it is mm-hmm. in, in its place, but I place both my hands on the stone um, and I don't say anything out loud. <laughs> um, but, I, but I just visualise, you know, what, what it is that I want to ask, which in this um, instance is uh, what, what is the nature of this being and how, how, can, we, how can we help? Is, yeah. is it in pain? Yeah. All right. So this is going to take a, this is going to take a little while. So I want to know what everyone else is doing, especially as it's it's kind of like, yeah, it seems to uh, seems to be doing like um, uh, in my head the the movement that it's doing is like a horse like snorting and uh, snorting and like trotting away from a fence when it's realised you haven't got any more carrots. Um, hmm. What's what's everyone else doing? I think I'll just be like, uh, excuse me? Like, trying to get his attention without being forceful about it. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't seem to respond. It doesn't respond to excuse me, at least. I, uh, when it, like, as it moves around, do do the rest of us get uh, um, a visual on the... I think I think after it's like started to do that retract, like as soon as it's you're not directly interfacing with the front of it, right? As mm-hmm. soon as it's not trying to engage you, you can kind of be like, "Oh, there's more of it," 
right yeah. and start to and start to see you know there's a section where there's just like um uh, there's a section where there is um like just chain just wrapped around something that is uh, roughly five and a half feet in length and a couple of feet wide you know like mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. yep okay um i think i say again to sketch probably because sketch is is nearby and maybe also Fallen if Fallen is is next to me um because it seems like air is is sort of focusing hard on trying to trying to analyze what's going on um and I think I say um uh I think maybe this is some kind of dead something Mm, or something that's taken up a home in a dead something or something that's grown out of a dead something like a fungus but it also makes itself look like other things Mm. And then, yeah, she's got this face of like, this is a really complicated thing. Um, but she seems very excited, like, about its, like, complexity. Um, and she kind of like looks up at this sort of area where there's like chain wound around something and says, oh, if I could get up closer. You want to go look at the other part? yeah it's very clever i like it it seems like it seems like a a kind of spirit that sean would approve of Mm. Mm -hmm. so much more than we can see but um i don't want to get eaten is that the kind of thing Sean likes? Things that are hidden? Mm. Or pretending to be other things? Oh, yes. Oh. Hmm. I like those kinds of things too. I mm, think you're right. We might get eaten. Mm. I'm not, I'm not sure if we should poke around it's under things too much we might we might just want to see if it'll let us continue on in I don't know it depends do you want to figure out more about this or do you want to go on to the river um I want to know more about it I think I'd like to know more about it too. And I also like kind of sense that there's, you know, um, maybe some discomfort or maybe something that we can do um, to to help maybe. So I'd like to find out yeah, more let's, about it. Let's 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 engage in conversation with the stone um, yeah. uh, era because as soon as you open that connection. Um, uh it says to you um it says here lies organ uh here lies um algon reeves um and then gives um uh 1441 to 1492 um um beloved by many loved uh, uh, um celebrated by many loved by few Ooh. that's harsh and i love it yeah what's the current date do we know no one has any idea <laughs> okay great <laughs> i did i thought that i vaguely thought that that was the case no one has any idea what date it is or which directions are which because everything is messed up mm-hmm. cool but someone is laid to rest here but yeah that's what it says to you right you're like like that's it's hello right like here lies organ rees <laughs> mm. but yeah you can ask it what 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 um what question did, did you want to ask it in its um 
is it is this is this you organ is this you um yeah actually uh, because we're using your ability we need you to roll plus wisdom um to see okay. how many questions you have okay so just click the wisdom. Click, click the wisdom button again oh, you're you're good at this um yeah so you have you have three questions they're not limited by anything you can ask and it will answer as best it can okay so no limitations on my questions no um You've been laid to rest here, Organ, but is this you? Um, it says, uh, it says, um, Organ rests here. Um, as in indicate, suggesting that, like, it's not Organ, but it's, 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 it's understanding of its purpose is to let people know that Organ rests here. Um, um, that, uh, that, um, Organ, um, like, it it almost considers itself like the only thing that is like on organ's side, you know? Um Right. Yeah. Who 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 is organ? Um Yeah. Who it, who was this person? Algon was buried with many uh, uh Algon was buried in an expensive suit with uh, um with very with very fancy flowers. Many people came uh, many people came but they said very unpleasant things. But there were very. Uh, but there was. Uh, uh, but when they uh, when they uh, when they came, there were lot. Uh, there were lots of uh, lots of flowers and cakes and uh, and very uh, and very fancy to do. Um, and it's a. Uh, it says. Um, uh, it says it's uh, that it has seen uh, two more of these events since then, and none of them were as colorful or had as many you know, foods and things, and people were a lot less, a lot more quiet at those ones. Um, but the one, the one that, the one that, and so they think that Argon must have been very important because of the, the loudness and colorfulness and, uh, and the, and all of the things that, that, that they were, that, that were put into the ground with, uh, with them. Mm. Can I... Can I group source the third question? <laughs> what um, what what else can I shall I ask? Uh, do we know how this person died? Have we has that come up? Because that might be. Um, a question. That, I have I have a theory, but I don't know. Mm -hmm. What's your theory? My theory is that potentially this person was in the the the, the car is somehow involved and that like potentially the the body of whoever died here has now kind of like merged with the car in a weird way or something like that yeah yeah, uh, yeah you could say like what's the difference between algon and the car or something like that um or like what's the connection yeah yeah that's a good one yes let's ask that what's the connection um, between algon and the car this one was algon's so lots of people had one but this one was uh, um and that uh, and like um and they were all algons but this one was algons and it, like you know it's like like more so they all belonged to algon uh, every every single right. one of these wheely things um and that's why that's why um that's why it was and like there's the there's a connection there in that like the reason that it, that that Algon rests here is because all of them belonged to Algon, but this one was Algon's Algon's. Right. So, like, maybe Algon was like a car manufacturer. Manufacturer. Yeah. yeah. And this one was actually his car. I think. So he um, was like the Henry Ford of Rolls Royces. Mm. Mm hmm. Okay. So this one belonged to the person that is dead. It was incredibly important to him, um, and it was, and as a result, it had it was the nicest of all of them. It it like you know it had uh, it had silver where the other things had chrome. It had leather where others had like uh, had like um, fabric, right? 
um yeah it was his it, it he he's he's buried here because it was his pride and joy oh okay so it's not necessarily connected to his death but more that he he wanted to be with it hmm. yeah mm. and like i think that the rock tells you about like that event um oh. Uh, someone who is very special was the only person who was allowed to drive it, but everyone paid very much attention to the fact that they, they like did a drive of it at the, at the event where Algon was put into the ground. Ah, uh, okay. Right. right. Yeah. yeah. So he died first. He died first. He was buried here. And maybe the tree was sorry. Maybe the car was put here as a memorial or or something think, like I, that. I think it like I think that first. the that like the other stones speak up and they're like uh, and they like talk about like you know they they uh, they did their best to look after it, but um but the but these uh, but these horrible trees you know they talk about these horrible trees with their roots and their and like yeah there are all of and I think if you're if you're looking around you can see that. The stones around here are have have corners, right? They are they are masonry. They are this was once a mausoleum for a car. Right. Okay. Are there? Is this the only grave um, for organ, or are they? Is this is this a graveyard? Um. I mean, the the stone said that there that there were some more of those events that happened. For people being put in the ground, so it did. It remembered. It only remembered two others having happened since, though. Right. Um, how much of this do you share with everyone else? Like, what do you tell the rest of us? Um, all all, all of this. I I share all of this information with you. Um, as you're doing so the thing has retreated into the uh, into the tree and you hear a um you hear the sound of um of like an air pressure meter when it's on the on the on the tire they're like mm -hmm. okay uh well i'm gonna pipe up and say uh there's something i can try to get more information but it might Anger is a creature. I don't know. What kind of thing? I can try to speak with some of the people it may have eaten. Oh, you think it's like got other people inside it? I'll just point at the skeletons. <laughs> yeah. But like, remember that, like, the skeleton that you can see, it like is a is half melded into the. Um, mm -hmm. Into the so I'm just making which sure could that. happen if it yeah yeah and I well, think I, I like, like kind of or something mm -hmm. yeah I kind of like no idea what's going like, on there's I a like, dead body yeah, yeah. ish um, there's something dead around here mm -hmm. yeah I, I think Val like kind of like chews on a nail and is like mm, maybe it ate it but I think maybe that's more like um mm, like a seed. Like if you have an acorn and then a sprout grows out of the acorn, but you can still sort of see the shape of the acorn for a bit. Maybe like that. Okay, so do you think I should ask it if I can try talking to its seeds before I try? I think you can probably just try. It worries me that Ash looked delighted at that. I just love the nonsense <laughs> of the situation. I love it when these things are silly. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I say like, mm, I think you can probably just try. Dead things talk to me all the time. I can help if you want. <laughs> I've never had help with it before. I don't know how you would help. But you, you can try. I'm just oh, a very good oh, listener. Okay, that's true. That would be very interesting. I think that's a very good idea. We can find although, out all the things. Although, could you... Is there a reason you look and sound like Sparrow? Are you like related? Um, I say, oh, sorry, sorry is it upsetting for you? I can it's look like me. It's just really weird. And I, I like, like put my mask down and like, yeah, 
move my hands over it and then lift it up again and it's my normal face and I say sorry I forgot I still had the other face on <laughs> it was just very confusing oh I'm not, I'm not used to it sorry the, is is it something I shouldn't do near you no I just I just had never seen it before so I didn't I didn't and then Vorlin's just going to try to laugh and then, like, take a couple steps away and try speaking with the dead because this is super awkward. So, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, and, yes, I would like to offer help. Cool. So what does it look like as you cast this? Because this is the spell that you have as your, like, heritage spell, isn't it? Yep. Yeah. What does um, it look like as you as you cast a magic game? Uh, yep. They'll kind of bow their head and close all of their eyes um and start murmuring in not really entirely words but there's like just kind of intent there um and then it looks like a kind of liquid drop of fire comes out of their mouth and kind of floats up to a dead thing do you want to do you want to read me the description of the spell so that I can make sure that I know the specifics. Yes. Um, a corpse converses with you briefly. It will answer any three questions you pose to it to the best of its knowledge it had in life and the knowledge it gained in death. When you unleash a spell granted by your deity, roll plus whiz. All right, so let's roll the plus wisdom to see what the potential consequences are. Yep, cool, excellent. Oh, I know what this is. Great. Oh no. Um. Uh. You you muted him. I was gonna say I am offering help, so if you want to, you can re-roll the two that you got there. It wouldn't make it any worse because the worst that you would get is still a seven to nine. Yeah, could push you up above a nine. Okay. I I will try. Mm -hmm. How are you? How are you helping? Um, so I, one of my abilities is, um, that I can hear the spirits of a place and what they're saying. Um, so I think the narratively, the way that I'm helping is like, as you're, uh, like casting this and trying to like communicate, I like close my eyes and sort of tune into like the whispers that are around. And if those whispers like change or say anything that feels relevant, then I just like pass it on to you. So I just like whisper the things that I hear into your ear. That's really cool. Okay, I'll roll a 1d6. Mm -hmm. That takes you up to, Much a, better. to a 10 plus. Awesome. So yeah, um, you uh, bow, hear Fallen speaking in this weird thing, um, but it's kind of muffled as if you are... Um, as if you're in another room or something and bow uh, and Forland is speaking in the wrong direction uh, as if it fall like you know if Forland we're in an, uh, we're in the next room over and talking away from you rather than towards the door or whatever mm hmm so sorry you do you say is this a thing that I'm hearing you with hearing my like, spirit ears with your spirit ears yeah I mean, that kind of makes sense because Fallen isn't dead. Yeah, but Fallen isn't talking towards the dead. Fallen is talking up. Hmm. So, sorry, is this, are we mechanically discussing like. This is me, this, this is me, fiction, how, this is me telling help. you the, the fictional mid place of the help. Yep. Yeah, okay, so in which case, yeah. In which case, then it looks like uh, I. Uh, try to communicate this i think so it feels like i love how abstract this is so it feels like fallen is talking up and away mm. instead how of do, down and towards you down and toward me towards your hearing right um do i have any kind of sense of like you're listening as the dead right like yeah do i like if i just if i said to fallen um 
yeah i think okay i think i understand how that how that feels so i think i say to fallen um um fallen you're a bit muffled can you talk more into the earth like like you were talking into a grave or to the roots of a tree fallen's gonna look at you and just like blink all of their eyes in not order and be like oh like just like feel feel like try to feel sorry i've never described this before i've never had help with this before try to think like you know how when you go to sleep you kind of um, sink into something try to like feel like that feel like you're kind of trying to sink into something okay fallen will kind of think for a second and then kneel down and like sink their fingertips into the earth because they're nothing if not literal cool um bow um there is dirt in the mouth um uh, actually no so Forland, what do you what do you ask um i think in the past we've used like the discern realities questions for this let me have a look at the spell um it will answer any three questions you pose to it so same as the rocks one any three questions of your choice that's pretty good yeah um might be good to like ask like kind of like um air did with the stones like try and get a sense of how this thing became what it is now or something or i, I don't know um okay how to ask how to ask that in a way that will make sense um which corpse i guess am i talking to like where did the spark so it went into the ground. The ground. Okay. Um, how long? Uh, and like, this is the thing: is that like, Bao, you know that there is nothing in the tr in the tree that is a dead, that is a literally dead thing or a corpse. Okay, there are no corpses in the tree. All right. In that, there's nothing in there that was alive and is now dead. Mm -hmm. Hence, why we need to talk into the ground. Mm. Yep. Makes sense. Um, yes, in which case, like, yeah, I, I like, I sort of lean, lean down and, and clarify that to Fallen and say, like, mm, yeah, you, you're talking the right way now. There's nothing dead up the top, just in the ground. Okay. Um, how long? Oh, no, that's, a, that's an esoteric question. Um, Fallen will probably like start to ask that and be like, no, wait, that that that's a bad question. Uh, did you grow into this? Bow, your mouth is full of dirt. Or our mouth is full of dirt. If you wanted it to be, it could be yours and you could take the dirt out. If it wasn't your mouth, no one could take the dirt out. <laughs> there is a mouthful of dirt. If I wanted it to be mine, it could be mine and I could take the dirt out. If it wasn't mine, nobody could take the dirt out. Yep. yep. There's no one, no, no one who is capable of taking the dirt out of the mouth. Does it feel like someone's having trouble talking because there's dirt in the mouth? Yep. Uh, if I wanted it to be my mouth, I could take the dirt out. I want it to be my mouth. That seems like the simplest answer. Cool. So your mouth is full of dirt and, yeah. Yeah. and there are some words that it could be saying, but it's not because it's cool. full of dirt. I spit out the dirt and I let the words happen yeah. in whatever voice they want to be. Yeah. Cool. So bow just like 
kind of like half spits, half vomits out like a liter or two of dirt, um, enough to fill up like, you know, a mouth and throat and stomach. Um, and then starts to speak in a grumpy old man voice. Um, and says, uh, and says, uh, uh, says, I'm not growing anything. Farming is, for, uh, uh, farming is for, uh, uh, is for idiots who think that, uh, who think that food needs to, uh, needs to come out of the ground. You should shoot a horse and eat it like a man. <laughs> Fool is just gonna like stare at at Bao and then like. A couple of their eyes are gonna blink, and they're like, "Okay, uh, how long has your car been alive?" That's not my car. That's a copy, a filthy copy. They get, they're always trying to steal my ideas. They are, and uh, and now they don't even have, uh, they don't even bother to build them themselves. They just come along, climb into my tree after I've been dead for hundreds of years. Can't do anything about it. They climb up into the tree and then they slowly adapt its appearance, like some uh, like some kind of painter or hippie or nonsense. <laughs> Algon's feisty. <laughs> <laughs> so, so to clarify, what this voice that I'm saying is suggesting is that the car in the tree wasn't even the actual car? No, that's the actual car. That's his car. That's, that's the, the real one. That's the proper one. The that's best the one, even. One. But so, the, so the one creature in the tree, yeah. is not the car. No. Creature's mimicking it. Mimicking it. Okay. But, but it doesn't seem like he is... He's not connected to it. No. Mm. Who's they? That's a really good question. I don't know. I just assumed that they was people in his life. Yeah, they keep coming. Who's they? True. I mean, yeah, he's uh, like, yeah, he, I think, I think you have the solid understanding that like he's referring to, yeah, like, he he isn't making he he's confused about the distinction between people he knew in life and whatever the fuck this thing is. Ah, uh, yeah, that's the thing that Falland would understand from like having yeah. spoken to dead. Exactly, things. that's the thing you would you would yeah, know. Okay. The dead get confused about things that happen after they've died because they have to recontextualize them into their own understanding that they had in life. Yeah. Okay, I think my last question will be. What has it wanted before? What do you mean by it specifically? The creature that now looks like his car. I think I'm going to give you a pass on that one because it has no fuck he has no fucking idea. Okay. Um that thing is very alien to him. In fact, you know what? I'm going to give you this as your answer, which is that he's it, 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 um if you cuz like if you ask him something about that, then he will say like uh, like back in my day, things had uh, things had a set number of legs, a set number of eyes, and you know, and start going off and uh, off about how this is a thing that is completely unlike proper things and unlike anything he knew. And it probably wouldn't have happened if the, if people had looked after uh, uh, looked after the, um, uh, looked after his property properly and not allowed all of these trees to go uh, uh, to go knocking down uh, uh, knocking down his personal family mausoleum, which he spent uh, which he spent thousands of dollars making sure that it would uh, it would stand the test of time and look what's happened so like yeah he, he to to him this thing is strange from the future alien confusing the best he can tell you uh, the best he can tell you is that when it came here it looks like sev it looked like many people all at once oh cool and it didn't know how to use the parts of it. Like it didn't know which bits were legs or arms or or heads. It was just using them all as bits. I think I turn around, like when that happens, like, and this is all really interesting because of course all these words are coming out of my mouth, but my like facial expression is like reacting to the things that are being said. Um, and then like after that bit, I turn around mm. to um, sketch and I say, um, it was too many people and it was confused about what it was. I wonder if that's how we end up. Oh, that would be really annoying. I hope that doesn't happen. 
and like now I, just I, seems I like, like that. Really interested like in in that possibility I, oh no it it has to be in control like, i don't i don't think so i think this is different from us Val seems like unconvinced, but like shrugs. Like, okay, if if that's if that's what you want to think. And then yeah, I think I very upset about this idea. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then I think I I say to fall and um, I think that's all of the words that were in my mouth. That's usually the most that they like to talk before they go quiet again. On the plus side, Fallen, you know now exactly where the body is. Like, you know that it's under the ground here, right? Like, you can X marks the, marks the spot where uh, where whatever remains of um, uh, of organ uh, of organries is. I have no use for dead bodies. I mean, I know someone who does. Yeah, exactly. We know someone else. I mean, no one necromancer, but none of us are a necromancer. That's probably for the best. Well, shall we take our break there then? Cool. All right. Well, uh, we'll be back after the break with more nonsense. Back soon, chat.